beauty is a lot about how you feel and how you define it. I think everyone has different beauty standards. I feel beautiful when I look strong and powerful when I'm wearing makeup and playing on the field. This is what I wear on the rugby pitch. But I think beauty changes constantly too. I think my idea of beauty has changed in that it used to be more what society said, like, oh, it's, you know, skinny, smaller bodies, which are beautiful bodies, but other bodies can be beautiful as well, like finding my muscles attractive, my body, my bigger frame, beautiful. My favorite part are probably my, like, thighs and shoulders, just because I find them to be so powerful, the way they take up space and what they can do. Like, to me now, these shoulders make you want to take notice. When I walk into a room, people see it. I want to put my shoulders back and people notice me. I get comments, of course, being called masculine, manly, but so many female athletes get that. People are intimidated by this strong powerfulness, and when you're too strong and too powerful, they find some way to make it negative. I think it's just a constant battle of, like, putting messages out there. So I think we have to continuously put positive messages around body image around body appreciation, but you know, positive self-talk. I can't believe I have cellulite. It's so gross and unnatural. It's so embarrassed to have it. Okay, that's my leg. I am a literal Olympian. I'm a professional athlete. I run all day long, and that is what my legs look like. <laughs> we all have it. Cellulite has always seemed very normal to me. I think it's just always such a, a thing you grew up with, oh, cellulite is bad. And even when I first saw that picture, I remember thinking, oh, it's not a good picture, I'm not gonna post that. It's, oh, see, it saw my leg like that. And then I was like, wait a second, I'm doing something pretty fantastic with this cellulite showing, and it's not taking away from that. So it was kind of changing the narrative there because I know a lot of other women feel this way. I've always been a big girl. I've always been like the bigger girl in my class. My sisters and I all have these, this height and broad shoulders. So it's something that we're just born with and it's gonna be with us for the rest of our lives. It's been a fun journey of learning to accept it because it's like, these are the cards you're dealt. Like this is the beautiful frame you were given. How can you use it to your best advantage and how can you learn to really appreciate it? And I do think rugby really helped me to learn to do that. I remember going to practice and I was called like the big girl, but it wasn't a bad word to be called big. It was like a positive, like, oh, you know, you're you're big, you're gonna be good out there. Like we want you out there, I think. So taking back the connotation of that word too. Rugby is the right place for many people. And I think it's the right place for a lot of people who haven't really found their place. It really helped me to grow into who I am.